Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to this video about Ghost Recon. So Ghost Recon Wildlands put out their year two trailer uh, for the new content coming this year and you know it looked cool but it didn't really spark my interest and it didn't really excite me until now. Matchwood, this is Paladin. Come in. Go for Matchwood. Langley has sprung a leak and they need us to stick our thumb in it. Brush up on your Spanish. You're headed for Bolivia. Look, I may need some extra firepower. Got any ideas? I've got friends in that neighborhood. Call the ghosts. So there we go, Sam Fisher is coming to Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm guessing this is probably going to be similar to the Predator mission that came out not that long ago, which was really, really, really good. I loved playing it and it's actually probably one of my highlights so far from the Ghost Recon content. Like their first bunch of DLCs, wasn't too impressed. Really love the PvP, but it's not quite enough to get me playing the game regularly. And... The Predator mission was definitely the highlight, it was just incredible. So now Sam Fisher is coming with some sort of special mission, which is great. So we're finding out about this on April 9th and exactly what it's going to be. But this now makes me wonder if they might do other franchises. So we've had Predator, now we're going to have Splinter Cell. So could we have other movies with special missions? Because that would be amazing. But also, can we bring in other Tom Clancy games? Could we have Rainbow Six actually turn up and you do missions with Rainbow as Ghost Recon? Which, I just love the idea that we can maybe explore all these different worlds. We could have the Ghost Recon people with the Rainbow people, with the Splinter Cell people, with Predator, with I don't know what other movie franchise. But I'm loving where Ghost Recon's going right now. And I'm very interested to see how this turns out. Like I say, the Predator mission was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was pretty simple and pretty short, but the atmosphere that they actually made in that game world was just insanely good. So I want to see what they do with Splinter Cell now and what this might open up for the future. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll catch you next time.